Good morning, welcome to Slim Chat. It's Tracy and what a grotty day. It really is. So this morning I got up and I thought, I'm going to boil some eggs. That wasn't my first thought. My first thought was <gasps> tea. But after that, I thought I'm going to boil some eggs. And because I keep saying I'm going to have an egg and tomato roll or an egg and tomato um, sandwich for my lunch. And because I remember my mum used to take me shopping when I was very small and just up the road from us we lived in a place called Edmonton and in North London and we lived just down just down the end of our road was a massive shopping centre called the Green Edmonton Green and it used to be a market on a green but you know over the years it developed into a shopping complex and now there's a couple of um it's more covered now and they've got um, a mall leading up to the bit where the marketplace is and then another mall coming off it so you know it's quite big now I, well say now I've been for oh, I don't know how many years but I don't think it's got any bigger than that anyway so she used to walk me to the green and first of all it was in a big pram and then a push chair and uh, a big big old push chair I used to have anyway I can remember all this because I had really good long-term memory anyway so we always had in this, um, there used to be a place called Tea and Webbers and another place called Caters and they had little cafes at the back and we used to go in there and she would always have the same, always buy me the same thing, <laughs> cup of tea, an egg and tomato roll and a jam donut and oh, that was fantastic. You know, both were amazing, both tasted amazing. They were the best jam donuts in the whole of North London, I tell you. Yeah, we always we used to have a cup of tea, egg and tomato roll and a jam donut. So egg and tomato roll, egg and tomato sandwich always reminds me of my mum. You know, it's hard boiled egg and sliced tomato with butter. But obviously can't really have the butter now. So yesterday I made dinner. After I'd done all my bits and pieces, I thought, oh, okay, I roasted some pork. And I put it in a roasting bag and I threw all the fat away and everything else. So it was just the pork. And I made some creamed mashed potato and vegetables. And so I thought, you know, the one thing that you really love about mashed potato and potato in its skin, jacket potato we call that, is butter. And we can't have butter. So um, I managed to buy ages and ages and ages ago butter buds. So I thought, well, where are they? Let's see if that makes a difference in the potato. So I put in oat milk, because I can't have milk, and um, mashed them up a little bit. And then I sprinkled a couple of butter buds, which have like half a half a sin each. And then I kind of creamed it all up. And do you know what that tasted just like I put loads of butter in? was really, really good. So we had creamy mash and, uh, and veggies and gravy. It was really nice. So yeah, I was a bit exhausted. And I went to bed early because of it. <laughs> well, I had done a tutorial which had taken me all the morning because I made a couple of boo-boos and then um, did this meal and on my feet for hours and hours doing it as well because, you know, it takes a while. Anywho, it was yummy and um, I'm also making some soup. I put it on yesterday and this time it's just butternut squash, carrot and onion at the moment um, and stock. But I'm going to blitz all that up and um, I didn't have the same amount of vegetable as I did last time. But So it's predominantly a carrot soup. But that would be nice because we enjoyed having that. It filled us up and stopped us from being hungry in the evening. So I'll do that today as well. And uh, so yeah, not bad. I made my overnight oats last night and this morning. And they're all dairy free and gluten free. So... Yeah, I'm not doing too bad with that now. I did have a little bit of time where I had some foods that upset my tummy. And and it's Gary that does it because, you know, he's so used to cooking. And he won't necessarily think there's anything wrong in that. You haven't had any gluten, but I had cheese, Gary. You know, there was cheese in it. Or um, he'll just say, oh, you know, there weren't any... There were no bread in that. No, but it's pasta, Gary. It's made with... Gluten. so he doesn't always think of the whole picture you know so I might have something that I actually shouldn't have 
or um, another time, a few times we had Slimming World meals just because we were in such a rush. And so I had one that was steak uh, with um, root vegetable mash. Well, they're probably full of the additives inside, like milk and, and gluten, you know, in their preparation. So I probably had those too. So now whenever I'm doing the cooking and I know what I'm having, it all sorts out nicely. So I have to make sure that when it's not me cooking or we're having a ready meal that I kind of look at the the state of the ingredients anyway but no no just doing quite well on that I suppose you could say and I was thought I had a cookery book I thought I had more than we've got and, and in fact I know we do I had a big old stack and I've only got a little stack so I don't really want to go buying them again and um we haven't found them so we had a bit of a problem the other day we were trying to put all the garden furniture um, away in the caravan in the garden so we cleared a big space it won't fit won't fit through the door so I might have to buy some kind of tarpaulin and cover it but that's not really ideal but I'm gonna have to do something because it will just be manky otherwise but who thought you wouldn't be able to get it through the door it's because of the shape of them the kind of shape like with my hanging chair because it really is like that you could go around the corner with it but these are just too big fat and wide to go through the interior door which is a bit of a pain oh well i will have to try and order some giant plastic sheets or something like a ground sheet go over it tuck it all round and weight it down so it doesn't blow away bit of a pain we don't really have a shed um, that we can use for it either so got to do something well don't know what to have really for dinner today I think myself there is leftover pork so that'll do me Gary was saying about that he needed to eat something else up so I can't remember what he's having but for me it's probably just the same sort of stuff as yesterday although there's no veg left what well, there is I have to make more but um, I've got I've got mashed potato left, only a little bit, and I have some pork left, so I could have beans. We'll see, maybe, don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get off, and that's not a very long one. Um, I've got several parcels coming today, which um, I'm looking forward to getting. They're Christmas presents, they're not for me, but, um, you know, once they're done, I can want to have a look at this make sure it's the right size and stuff and wrap things up I know I need to do that but um yeah so I've got to sort of be indoors waiting for parcels anyway and um be alert so I don't miss them um not much else to do apart from I think my ex is coming over so I can do all his chores not many people do their ex's chores do they but I don't know it's kind of do <laughs> anyway i'm gonna get off and i'm gonna upload my videos and uh i can't watch sky because it's broken I just went into one of those you know crash modes i can't really get to this power supply so i can't fix it which is a bit annoying but never mind i have to crochet it. i'll do something else so thanks for watching stay safe take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now